So my name's Nicole and today I'm going to be answering the questions that you leave in our comments section. So one question that we got were the different drive modes in the XLT. So I've got an XLT V6 with the Touring Pack here and I'm going to show you through them. So there's four different driving modes in the XLT. There is a specialized button to click to go through them. In the Sport and the Wildtrak variants, you twist this to go into your different driving modes. However, in the XLT, it does have a specialized button. In the XLT, there are four driving modes. The Sport and the Wildtrak do have a couple more. We're gonna start up the car. When you start it up, it does start in normal. No matter what mode you leave it in when you turn it off, it will always start in normal drive mode. You can change your car into 2H, 4A, 4H or 4L to whatever you need it to be. So its second drive mode is eco mode. So eco mode will use less fuel, but will also pull your power back a little bit and it turns you into too high. Your next drive mode is tow and haul mode. So this one is best used when you are towing something on the back. It does shift you into 4A and you just get a little trailer sitting next to your P to let you know that something is connected to the back. Its final drive mode is slippery mode. So this just helps if you are driving through snow or through heavy rain, just to help give the car a little bit more control. It does leave it in the 4A mode, same as the tow mode. So as opposed to that, you can just change the wheels that you're using. So especially if you are driving in different terrains, it is a really great feature to give you a little bit more control. You do have your 2H, your 4A, your 4H and your 4L mode. So in the Sport and the Wild Track, these are specialized buttons that you click. In the XLT, you spin it around. So I'm going to spin it from 2H into 4A. So on your dash, it will tell you a 4x4 shift is in progress. Cool. To put it into 4L, you do need to be in neutral. So let's pull the car into neutral. And now we're going to move it into 4L. So when you pop it into 4L, it does come up that your ESC has now been turned off. That was all the different driving modes in your Ranger XLT. If you do have any more questions, please leave them below and I'll make another video on them. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.